Hello, back to another vlog, we're off to Dingwall today, I know, my little fan doing my little vlog, who would have thought it? Are we Callum? What's happening? And Mark in the doing? back. How you doing? It's Marky's first game in about four years, I think the cup final in 2018 was his last, yep. his last game, it's because he's a chef. Where I so, met Callum. What do you oh. think the score's going to be, boys? 3-0 Motherwell. 4-0 Motherwell. 4-0 Motherwell. Marky's no, he's had a couple of beers, but I think he's away with it. Um, because we've only won two away games all season Aberdeen and Livingston. And apart outside the top three, Ross County are the highest scorers in the week, so um, but their problems have been keeping me out at the other end. So I expect a lot of goals myself. I'm going to go 3 2 Motherwell. I'm looking forward to seeing Ross Tierney and hopefully William Shaw and uh, the two new recruits. And who knows, Zach Rudder might be coming in the next few days. So, aye, there's a fresh, fresh feel about the squad. Second half of the season, let's go. Sitting last night to bring me the horizon on the way to the ground. And Callum tells me a story about when him and Mark came in at an under 21 room. <laughs> and Mark came in sitting beside the bum. He's never heard bring me the horizon in his life, right? And he was asking Callum questions about them. So that he could answer them, so see if you were that bird. It was around the time we were when we were playing for the under 21. So if you can remember, some days the boys like that <laughs> having a conversation with you about bring me in a horizon. He's a lying bastard that won't fucking trust him. Right? He's never heard them in his life, ever. Right, so story time again. We used to get the bus up for long journeys last night to have my lesson thing wall. And me and Callum had been on a night out, I think we were in Bamboo or something and we were rough in the morning, I think we don't want to see your sleep or something like that we got on the bus and within 20 minutes <laughs> Callum decides he needs a shite, doesn't he? <laughs> right? <laughs> so he goes in, does it sticks out the bus which is bad enough but it the gets bus. worse, what'll happen Callum? Can you find the money? Flush your toilet <laughs> and a wee boy went in after me <laughs> <laughs> wee boy, four year old He's in after him and flushes it, it. <laughs> within 10 seconds. So, if you think that I'm the disabled one in this vlog, I've got me something even more disabled today. Clyde one saying that they usually stick us in the corner. I've got some good news when I go here that they're going to put us in at the side, so I'm pretty uh, happy with that because it'll hopefully mean that I can see the game better. Because um, the last few there, it was kind of enclosed, particularly if the fans are behind the goal, it meant that you didn't really have that good a view of the game. So um, I'm glad that I'm glad that um, we've got a different view. So as you can see. My original view is going to be over beside that floodlight in the corner behind the goal so they've moved us to the side and it's a much better view being side on and so I'm pretty pleased with that it means that we've got a great view if we're shooting down this way second half so aye definitely much better than the last time I was here just been told from a very reputable tour that um, the reason that we've shown Ross Tierney are not in the squad is uh, because of injury his mother will line up with Kelly O'Donnell saw home with Gabby McGinley, Goss Donnelly McGuire, Ross, eh, Ross, Goss and Ross get back up there, Roberts, Van Bean, and Rowley. So that is the mother of the lineup in full. On the bench, we have Fox, Morrison, O'Connor, Amaloza, Shields, Slattery, Grimshaw, Carroll. So that is the mother of the bench eh, for this evening. I mean, 
I think we might struggle tonight. I've got a feeling that we're going to struggle. I really hope I'm wrong. But as I say, see no complaints about this view. This view of the game is about to have another little team come out just there, just beside us. Um, and usually, usually we shoot down here in the second half. So we're all looking forward to the game. Hopefully we can continue to put that pressure on Hearts and then get further away from the Hibs after the beat against Celtic at Park Head last night. And he hits it! Yeah! Oh, by the way, man! Oh! Did you think that was in? Did you think that was in? <laughs> Something didn't help! Something didn't help, correct it! I don't want it, was he be lost in the wheelchair? He's not right. But he whips it! And it looks like he's going to sneak in the ball corner! See my left on. There it's there. And then Kevin Van Veen's made a good one to the byline, cut it back, and we've won another corner. But we've not really managed to get on the end of one of these, I think. Sondre is the only one that's got on the end of a set piece for Sean Cross and Lerone. We need to make one of these count. We've had plenty. We've had plenty, plenty corners in the first half. Just got to make them count. Whipped in. You hear that? Oh! And, as I say, in the middle of the box, the middle of the box. That guy sitting right there. Just in there. He's right in the way. In the middle of the box. I think it was either McGabby or Willie. Three headers in the middle of the box. And they're headed away. Great 
fantastic up right before half time. Well, let's try it. On the four minutes added on, we must be needing enough to end it. And we've given a free kick away. Free kick. This idiot, this idiot is saying that this one is still before half time. You must be the main place of us to follow up on it. I'm walking home mate, I'm not coming back in the morning for you after that. As Callum said, Ross County have scored right before half time and to me that's always a sucker punch and it's going to be very very difficult for us to bounce back for that. Created nothing. Four minutes on the is. You scored the 45th minute. Is that right on half time Callum? A minute half time added on. He's just saying that it's going right on half time. And we done it for them. We done it for them. We, we done it for them. They did nothing, and uh, they're going to be much better. No, no, we the going to be like this one. Last that! Last that! Last that! Last that! Last that! As you can hear, the fans are still getting behind the team. We need to make more runs up behind. They have to be more creative. Personally, I think it would take all the love of them. And the Gabby's limping, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But I would take Jordan Roberts off. And I'm very on call, I shoot for the same time. We need to find a way back in this match. The best thing about our performance tonight has been the Will Boys. Yep. That's been the best thing about our performance. We've got behind the team from start to finish. Even when, even when the team are going up at half time and a, and a difficult first half was going. Yeah, they were still right behind the team. Come on! The drums ended up the pitch! The fans are on the pitch! There's a bit of a smash! But I tell you by the way, what a goal! It's a long ball! A long ball over the top of the county defence, right? Van Veen, he picks it up, he's got Roberts! Roberts who I was screaming to come off! In the middle! He lays it off to Roberts! Roberts takes a touch at the edge of the box! And hammers it! Right into the top corner! Tilson, the substitute! Hey, come on, Kadoo's off with a bad thuggery. Absolutely disgusting, by the way. Disgusting. I was Tilson. Tilson. I'm going to keep my turn. But that's a little goal for this free kick here. Come on, that's a goal here. Come on, whip in. Oh, it's coming to go. Listen, all the momentum in the world with us now. Come on, surely we win this. Surely we win this. It would only happen to Mullerwell by the way. Nathan McGinley is steady trying to play the ball back to his goalkeeper. Tries to play out when he's got a man on him. Loses the ball, is crossed in and it's finished. 2-1 to Ross County. We are getting beat after 10 minutes. Megan Charles Cook, the guy that I originally thought he said that I've and we've got about 15 minutes to rescue a draw against 10 men. Absolute shambles, man. Nathan McGinley, what are you doing? Just put it up to the front if you're unsure. That was McGinley again. <laughs> wow, mother wow, wow. Three and a half hours in a car. To watch mother against 10 men, 2 1 down, and now we've just conceded a penalty. And there is no prizes for guessing who made the handball. Uh, Nathan McGinley is what I've been told. Set up. And Mullerville. I'll see you on doing against 10 men. In terms of results this season, one of the worst. Definitely one of the worst. I thought straight at it. Straight. 
I phoned and Riggy Charles was going to be in. But one of, the, one of the Ross County's better players, to be honest. I said on play one before the game that I had a feeling we would struggle tonight, but when you get it to against 10 men, I get the feeling that you're going to go on and win a game, particularly when you equalise before that, just before that. We've been, we've, we've been the worst team, worst team. Um, since they went down to 10 men, we've been worse. And it's baffling, it's absolutely baffling. We we have no spark, we've got nothing. We're offering it. Fuck all. Absolutely shite. Boo! Full time. Let's get the three. Well over one. Play uh, a rubbish first half. Let's try to get a goal right before the break. We gave them it on goal. Then we got some back in the game. Jordan Rollins scores. And then Towson sent off for County. You think there's only one team going to go on to win it? And weirdly, after that, there was only one team. The world was never going to go on to win it. And it wasn't in Motherwell. It was Ross County. Regan Charles Cook. Um, Regan Charles Cook scored the double. And um, very, very poor. Very poor. Back to the house and we'll do the ratings for this experience. So, we've been to the game, if you can call it that. Let's rate the experience now. We'll start off as always with the view. I did say on my way up and on Clyde 1, if you heard me, uh, that they usually put you in the corner at Dingwall, but they'd moved us to the side, which initially I was very pleased about because I thought that would have um, provided a better view. But in the first half, there were stewards in front of us. It was quite difficult to see down the other end. And then in the second half, there was some people standing in front of me, but I need to get, I have to give an honest opinion of the experience, that is what I'm here to do. So in terms of the view, because I couldn't really see second half and um, the fact that there was stewards away in the way in the first half, a 7 hour round trip is a long, long way to go and uh, I'm going to have to give it a 3 out of 10. Next we're going to go to the atmosphere and I spoke about the atmosphere that the well boys generate and it was no different last night, I thought they were absolutely fantastic uh, for, Even when we went 1-0 down they, they were cheering the team off the pitch, encouraging them Trying to um, get behind them Because uh, I, I didn't think there was much in the first half And we were lucky to go 1-0 down uh, But no, the boys kept singing right up until uh, Unfortunately the game was gone at 3-1 So I'm going to give the atmosphere a 6 out of 10 uh, The boys were fantastic On to the food and drink now Now you're going to start to think I'm lying here But I did get food and drink I did um, But the camera had died so I couldn't show you Because we didn't get food on the ground We went and get a McDonald's on the way home So rating that The chips were soggy The juice was watery The burger was nice but So I'm going to eat a Oh, I'm being generous, but I'm going to get a 6 out of 10 for the um, food and drink. 6 out of 10 for the food and drink. And then on to the game in itself. Where do you start, really? As I say, not much in the first half. Um, Ross County get a goal right before half time. Cheers, Callum. You called that. Um, and they won one day with the break. I always think that half time's a really, a really bad time you can see the goal. Um, really, really bad time to concede a goal, and I thought that we would maybe struggle to get back in the game after that, as our confidence might have been dented. But no, no such thing. We actually come out really strong in the second half, and we get the goal, and then count and get down to ten men. And you're thinking there's only going to be one winner here, but unfortunately, after we can we scored that equaliser, we seem to drop off, and I don't understand it. I genuinely do not understand it. Um, we were playing long balls against 10 men, you seen with the long throws in the first half that I touched on um, They were just headering everything So I don't know why we then thought it would be a good idea to resort to a long ball um, But no, that's what we went with and we duly played, paid the price uh, Nathan McGinley, who has he had a shaky start to the season, I thought he bounced back But last night he looked back to his shaky self um, Rashly clearing the ball up the pitch, trying to keep possession when he could just have put it out for the floor in because he was under pressure with his back towards goal. He could just have cleared it for the floor in and got his back in. He tries to clear it. The cross comes in, they score. Regan Charles Cook, who I think is one of Ross County's best players, 
makes it 2 1. And then the penalty, they get the ball down that flank again, and it hits Nathan in the hand. And, um, penalty uh, to County, and they go and make it 3 1 to the game. I'm only going to give it a 2 out of 10, I can't give it any more than that. Um, because as a Motherwell fan going to watch it, it was pretty, pretty dismal the way that we lost the game. Um, hopefully, we don't see that, that creep in towards uh, the rest of the season. Hopefully, we get back to what we were showing before the break. Uh, good news is that we've got the likes of Tierney and Shaw to come in. I think they'll be good additions, judging on a midfield last night. It looked like it lacked any real creativity, so... I'm looking forward to seeing how they do when they come back for their knocks. But yeah, 2 out of 10 for the game. And that makes it a total of 16 out of 40. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make the Morton game on Saturday. So the next game that I will be at will be Hearts Away. Um, I've got my tickets put down for that already. I'm going to try and get a wee interview in uh, between now and then for you. Because I do enjoy doing the interviews and... From the feedback I'm getting, you guys enjoy watching them as well. So I'm going to try and get maybe a wee interview sorted for next week. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.